Hey, 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 good oh, morning, please. YouTube. Climb here. Thanks for joining me on another uh, Tips and Gameplay Breakdown the video. You know, I apologize for uh, the lack of uploads lately, but my, my wife and I just moved to San Jose, and, you know, things are finally starting to settle down, so I wanted to bring you this um, this video. Now, I actually did this video a while back, um, a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to upload it, but the audio, this audio I'm recording right now, just didn't work. So, anyway... Uh, but I appreciate the support and the continued harassment for wanting me to get you more videos. No, I'm just kidding. But I wanted to talk about um, mobility. Uh, but mobility, I think, is something really unique within Destiny specifically because uh, so I haven't had a lot of familiar familiarity with other FPSs other than like watching um, YouTube videos or Twitch streams and stuff like that. But Destiny seems to be quite unique in its mobility aspect in that you know you have. Shade Step, um, Twilight Garrison, yeah, but even more beyond that, like the, the special circumstances, you have a lot of um, vertical ability, right? So you have like wall running, I know, with like Modern Warfare or um, Call of Duty and Titanfall, some of like the wall running, but you have a lot of what I think is unique about this uh, Destiny for my st style of gameplay versus um, these other FPSs. Is I use the mobility as an evasive tool. So that's a, a lot of what I'm going to be advocating for on top of the tips video so far. Is I use a lot of, it's like here, you see me shade step away because I just keep losing sight. When I shade stepped earlier on the bridge, I'm just losing um, sight. It's my oh crap moment. I, um, especially, I've literally learned to do this with uh, shade step and twilight garrison. So I've tried to do it like the, the luminosity way, be super aggressive with it, um, and I'm just terrible. So. Uh, what I've decided to use it as is my oh crap moment. And I think it works really, really um, well. So I hit that third person point of view and reposition. Same thing with Twilight Garrison. I can't use that thing um, as an aggressive tool. I just can't. But what I can do is as my oh crap moment, right? Give a quick little jump and um, get that dash out of the way to find some cover. As we talked about earlier, just finding some cover. And a lot of the... Um, even on top of that is this, is this vertical space. So it's a good thing, bad thing, right? Uh, a warlock's super lofty. Um, even hunters especially can be super lofty uh, when you get that second jump and you're just, you're coming down because you can't stop your jump at that point. So it just, it's a good thing, bad thing. So what, I, what I've found myself um, talking to others, watching my own gameplay, what you really have to be, I think, be mindful of is the open space you're around. So we talked about breaking line of sight and using cover, right? So how important that is um, to engagements. And I hope you've been paying attention a little bit, um, or if you go back and watch this, to the, the use of cover. That open space is what's screwing me up. Now, if I had jumped behind cover, I, that was breaking line of sight, it wouldn't have been a big deal because I had something to, say, fall back into. Um, but I think that's where a lot of us, as Destiny players, get caught up, is jumping and staying afloat in open space without cover. Right, so it's the lack of cover um, that really gets us into a lot of trouble. So what I want to continue on that train of thought is um, using your primer, using your guns, and it's still a big part of the mobility, you know what, the mobility tip um, of this video specifically and of my gameplay is strafing. So I'm, I didn't mention it in a previous video, I don't think I did, um, but that's something that is not unique to Destiny and the fact that you can strafe left and right or that you should strafe left and right, um, you know, jumping up and down, crouching up and down um, when you're engaging in a gunfight because you want to try to, you know, as much hit your target as you do uh, want to have your opponent miss. But again, what's unique with Destiny is the Heavy fact that we have a bound. longer time to kill than versus Call of Duty or Titanfall. So strafing becomes much more important because of that fact, right? So you have much more opportunity to stay alive and to kill someone. Um, so pay attention to that within this gameplay. And when you're watching your gameplay or when you're playing, is that mobility aspect of strafing while you're in a shooting like just toggle your left stick left and right and it's, it's 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 pretty simple but highly effective um, it can be really 
deterring or uh, really uh, difficult to kind of get a handle on. Sometimes um, you're like strafing completely opposite of your opponent, and you know it just happens. But do do it more so than you don't do it. I promise it'll help. Um, but it's along that is uh, there's this uh, streamer like and somewhat Six YouTuber. Um, wish you luck if you haven't heard of him. Um, look him up. He's incredible. He's really kind of an angry guy in a lot of ways. I don't think he intends to be just, but um, one thing that does upset him, or that I thought he could give a really good tips video on, was uh, kind of almost how to how to strafe. Uh, so he's arguing for the fact that you want to strafe um, in a gunfight. You want to strafe along with your opponent, like you're trying to dance in, in unison as a pair. Um, along with him, as opposed to try to strafe against him and uh, to try to miss, have him miss his shots. Uh, so the, apparently that works really well for him and maybe like other high intensity um, players, but for me, I just, I go left and right almost regardless. I think I start with my, with my right toggle um, first and foremost, just because that's what I'm used to. And so just, just just doing something is better than nothing. Like standing still while you're um, shooting just isn't ideal. And you may think that you don't do it, but if you pay attention or if you record your video and watch uh, watch yourself do it, uh, you'll find honestly that you you do it more than you maybe you do it more than you don't. And you're not in trying to intend to, right? But you're just so focused on getting that kill that you're not using that mobility. And part of that mobility is strafing left and right. Um, using Shade Step and Twilight Garrison to get away and find cover. Uh, using that vertical space to try to um, run away. But again, a lot of times when we do that, like out of our out of sheer panic, um, we try to jump away. But in jumping away, we stay afloat far too long because we're in open space. Just something we're not always cognizant of. And so, uh, one quick way we can you can kind of get about about that is even if you're not using Shade Step, I find myself almost panicking. Um, using the the double zero or du double O uh, to try to get away and end up double crouching. Uh, but actually, when I do that, um, I'm almost de uh, deflecting the head height when I'm shooting at what the opponent is doing of me, and I'm able to actually tuck behind cover um, with you know with any subclass. <laughs> so, just something to um, I don't know, I guess be mindful of or see if it helps you. But I it, it actually has helped me. Funny enough, when I try to shade step or teabag when I'm not trying to but when I'm just trying to panic escape but anyway I hope these have helped a little bit uh, let me know if they have or haven't because I'd love some feedback and if I can help clearly communicate something better I'd love to anyway thanks for the support cheers